Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna rank the top 30 engineering programs in the world. Let's go. So this is probably gonna be one of the more accurate lists you're gonna find online because I actually took the top three most widely accepted ranking systems and I combined them together and I averaged out all the ranks and I put them into one ranking. And you know, as I was putting this video together, I came across some pretty surprising stuff as I was going through the data, but I'll talk about that at the end. And also go over, you know, how all this stuff is ranked, what kind of data and what kind of metrics go into the ranking. But I'm gonna try to move through this pretty quick, so let's get going. All right, so we're gonna start off in E tier. At number 30, we have Purdue University. Purdue's located in West Lafayette, Indiana and offers 28 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is about 39% and the tuition per year is about 10,000 for locals and 29,000 for non-locals. Next up at number 29, we have Cornell University. Cornell is located in Ithaca, New York and offers 14 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate at Cornell is 7% and the tuition per year is $62,500. That's the same if you're local or non-local. Next up at number 28, we have the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. This school is located in Daejeon, South Korea and offers 11 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is about 15%. The local cost of tuition per year is 5,500 and the non-local cost is 22,000. Next up at number 27, we have Zhejiang University located in Hangzhou, China. This school offers 21 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is about 20% and the local cost of tuition per year is about 5,000 and the non-local cost is 25,000. Next up at number 26, we have the University of Texas at Austin. This school is located in Austin, Texas in the United States and it offers 13 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 26%. The local cost of tuition per year is 12,000 and the non-local cost is 41,000. Next up at spot number 25, we have the University of Michigan. This school is located in Ann Arbor, Michigan in the United States and offers 17 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 17%. The local cost of tuition per year is 18,000 and the non-local cost is 30,000. Okay, so we're gonna move up a tier to tier D and kick things off at spot number 24 with the University of Tokyo. This school's located in Tokyo, Japan and offers 16 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 35% and the local cost per year is 5,000 and non-local cost is 7,000. Next up at spot number 23, we have Shanghai Jiao Tong University. This school is located in Shanghai, China and offers four different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 20% and the cost to attend per year for tuition is the same for local and non-local and that's a little over $11,000. All right, so next up at number 22, we have the University of Toronto. This school is located in Toronto, Canada and offers eight different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 28% and the local cost uh, per year for tuition is 10,000 and the non-local cost is 45,000. Next up at spot number 22, we have the Technical University of Munich. This school is located in Munich, Germany and offers six different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 8% and the local cost of tuition per year is free and the non-local cost is 6,000. All right, next up at spot number 20, we have UCLA. This school is located in Los Angeles, California in the United States and offers nine different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is about 6%. The local cost of tuition per year is 15,000 and the non-local cost is 42,000. Next up at spot number 19, we have Peking University. This school is located in Beijing, China and offers eight different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate at this school is a little bit different for if, if you're local or if you're non-local. It's 1% if you're a local uh, student and it's 15% if you're an international student. The cost to attend per year for tuition is 12,500 for locals and 20,000 for non-locals. Okay, so we're gonna move up to tier C and we're gonna kick things off with number 18, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, located in Lausanne, Switzerland. This school offers nine different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 20% and the cost of tuition per year is $2,000 for locals and non-locals. So next up, we have the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign at spot number 17. This school is located in the Twin Cities of Urbana and Champaign in Illinois in the United States and offers 19 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 30% and the cost of tuition per year for locals is 16,000 and for non-locals it's 34,000. Next up at spot number 16, we have Carnegie Mellon University. This school is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the United States and offers 11 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 15% and the cost of tuition per year is the same for locals and non-locals and that's 65,000. 
pretty expensive. So next up at spot number 15, we have Princeton University. This school is located in Princeton, New Jersey in the United States, and it offers 22 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 6%, and the cost for local and non-local tuition per year is $62,000. All right, so at spot number 14, we have the Delft University of Technology. This school is located in Delft, Netherlands, and it offers eight different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 80%, and the local cost of tuition per year is $20,000. $2,200 and the non-local cost is $11,000. All right, so at spot number 13, we have the California Institute of Technology or Caltech. This school is located in Pasadena, California in the United States and it offers 10 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 3% and the cost for local and non-local tuition every year is $61,000. Next up at number 12, we have the Nanyang Technological University located in Singapore. This school offers 12 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 47%. The local cost of tuition per year is 24,000 and the non-local cost is 30,000. All right, let's move up to tier B and kick things off with number 11, the Imperial College of London. This school is located in London, England, and it offers 11 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 12%, and the local cost of tuition per year is $11,500, and the non-local cost is $18,000. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you are, make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends. That kind of stuff really helps the channel continue to grow. And if you're thinking about studying in engineering or any other STEM degree, I highly recommend checking out my book. You know, I wrote this book to fill this huge gap in preparation that exists between high school and college, right? Self-discipline, motivation, time management, stress management, studying performance, and exam performance, it's all in here. Everything you need to get to graduation in one of these more difficult degrees. It's getting a ton of great reviews and helping out thousands of students all over the world. And it's actually been so well received that university professors across the country are starting to require it for their freshman engineering students. So. If you're a new student or if you're a struggling student, I highly recommend picking up a copy. It's available in ebook, audiobook, and paperback. I'll put links in the description for everything. Thanks for the support and back to the video. All right, so let's crack the top 10 with the National University of Singapore at spot number 10. This school is located in Southern Singapore and offers 12 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 9% and the tuition per year is 28,000 for locals and non-locals. Next up at spot number nine, we have the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. This school is located in Zurich, Switzerland, and it offers nine different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 27%, and the cost for locals and non-locals is the same for tuition, and that's $1,700. Next up at spot number eight, we have Tsinghua University. This school is located in Beijing, China, and offers 23 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 30%, and the cost of tuition per year is $4,100 for locals and non-locals. Next up at number seven, we have the Georgia Institute of Technology. This school is located in Atlanta, Georgia in the United States and it offers 14 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 13% and the cost for tuition for locals is 12,000 and for non-locals it's 33,000. All right, we're gonna move up to tier A and kick things off with number six, Harvard University. This school is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts in the United States, and it offers four different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 3.4% and the cost of tuition per year for locals is $62,000 and for non-locals it's $82,000. Yikes. Next up at spot number five, we have the University of Cambridge. This school is located in Cambridge, England and offers 12 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 17% and the cost for tuition per year for local students is 12,000 and for non-locals it's 50,000. Next up at number four, we have the University of California at Berkeley. This school is located in Berkeley, California in the United States and it offers 13 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 9% and the cost of tuition per year for locals is 20,000 and for non-locals it's 53,000. Next up at number three, we have the University of Oxford. This school is located in Oxford, England and offers eight different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 19% and the cost of tuition per year for locals is 11,500 and for non-locals it's 50,000. Okay, we're gonna move up to S tier now and kick things off with number two, Stanford. 
So Stanford is located in Stanford, California in the United States, and it offers 14 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 4%, and the cost for tuition per year is the same for local and non-local, $59,000. Okay, and the number one engineering school on the planet is MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This school is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts in the United States and offers 14 different undergraduate engineering degrees. The acceptance rate is 4% and the cost of tuition per year is the same for locals and non-locals, $62,000. There you have it. That was a ton of information and I went through it pretty quick. So let me know if there were any surprises to you or if everything was kind of as you expected. You know, a couple things that surprised me was the variability in how many different engineering degrees each school offered, right? Like Harvard, for instance, was ranked at number six, but it only offered four different engineering degrees. I mean, that's that's kind of weird to me. You know, I know it's Harvard, but it only offers four degrees. That was kind of weird. The other thing that was super surprising was the variability in cost, right? You got like $1,000 per year for some of the schools all the way up to $65,000, $80,000 per year for some of these other schools. You know, if you ask me, that's not really worth it unless you're on scholarship. Um, but if you go to some of these schools and you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, but you know, they all use the same textbook, textbooks pretty much, so I, I don't really understand the, you know, the variability in cost. And you know, I also want to point out that you know, it, while it would be really cool to attend one of these top-rated schools, there are literally hundreds of fantastic universities, engineering schools all over the world. So you don't want to get too hung up on what school you attend, because you know, the reality is that you know, once you break out of the kind of the top 10, top 20 schools on this list. Your salary, once you uh, graduate school, is pretty much going to be the same no matter what school you go to. The thing that really matters is ABET accreditation. You know, an ABET accreditation really kind of sets the bar for a quality engineering education. So if you're shopping around for schools, just make sure it's ABET accredited and you should be good. And in case you're wondering, the three rankings that I combined to make my ranking were the QS or the Quaccarelli Simmons ranking, the THE or the Times Higher Education ranking, and the Academic Ranking of the World or the Shanghai Ranking System. And also, in case you're wondering what kind of goes into how these different ranking systems rank these schools, right? The metrics that they look at. So they look at academic reputation, employer reputation, the faculty student ratio, the amount of international students and faculty that each of these schools have, the amount of inter international collaboration is take that's taking place, uh, how much research output there is, the quality of education and faculty, how much cited research is happening, and then the amount of you know, prestigious awards that these schools are uh, being awarded with, right? All that goes in to where these schools rank on these different ranking systems. But that's it for now. I hope you guys found that valuable, maybe a little bit entertaining. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next video.